Hey guys, welcome to the Solution Architect channel. And today um, I'm starting a new series about Linux, Ubuntu, and how we run .NET Core on, on Linux. So uh, this video will focus on the following. It will focus on install the .NET Core libraries onto Ubuntu Linux. I'm using a VM, a virtual machine. So if you do, do not have a virtual machine, you need to set up one. Don't use your your own um, uh, PC if you're only running Ubuntu. Um, and the other thing we will do is create a .NET web application and then we'll run it and I'll demo that um, right now. Okay, so you can go to your VM, um, your virtual machine for Ubuntu. I've got one uh, already set up here. I'm using 16.04. Um, the same commands will work on 18 as well. I'm just using this one because it's a more stable version of Ubuntu. So log in your Ubuntu machine, go to terminal, and uh, we've got a few um, scripts to type in here. Okay, so this is what you need to type in, wget, q, https, packages, microsoft.com, config, Ubuntu, 16.04, packages, Microsoft, and I'll leave this in, in the description below where I found this link. Next command that you need to put in is dpkg And this is now the command to install the packages. Okay, next one is install this is for HTTPS to be enabled but it's not SSL or you know or it's just for the transport protocol to be available that's not set up yet um, you still need to have a certificate for that or self signed certificate if you want to run HTTPS. That, uh, so you need to just run uh, update normally. And then finally, we want to install the .NET libraries .NET um, SDK 2.2 install. And yes. So this might take a while, so I'm just going to pause and start when it's f finished. Okay, now it's done. So what we want to do now, um, I'm just going to list the, the directories, the folders that's there. What we have to do is is create a um, create a directory. Let's call it just dev and cd to dev. Um, and it's really simple, guys. So to just to see if .NET is installed correctly, .NET info, and you can see 2.2 is installed and Ubuntu, and it's everything seems honky dory. Now to write the simple web application, um, .NET has a lot of command lines that you can use, uh, not web app. Um, so the the O is for output, mean, meaning that if you do do that, it will automatically create the folder when you create a new web application. And now, if you go ls, it will show you th there is my new folder. Go into that. And if you run ls, you, it created your project file, your starter file, your program file, uh, a configuration file. That's your project file there. A few pages, uh, www root for you, 
Okay, so now <clears throat> we want to build this and see if it builds successfully. It should, you know, it's generated code automatically for you. Build successfully and let's run it. Now what's going to happen now, it's going to run it in a default, on a default port on localhost. Um, it's got in built-in build um, web hosting, but this is not for production. This is only like when you develop and play around with things. Um, I will have another video showing you how to deploy, how to publish this as a service on Ubuntu. So this is the it's li listening here um, on localhost um, 5000 and for HTTP uh, on 5001. Let's open Firefox. Localhost. And you have to go to, you can't just go to localhost. You have to go to 5000. And because this is not a secure connection, we don't have SSL install. Um, you need to add the exception. Um, this, is, this, this is all okay and safe for now because you're not exposing this to anything else. So there's your web application running. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, this is how you get a .NET Core web application running up on Ubuntu. Um, I will have a next video that will show you how to publish and run it as a server so you can access it externally. That's a bit, a bit more work. But what we have to do is create a reverse proxy. And I'll do that in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and click the notification button and please share uh, my content it does take up a lot of time but i'm really uh, the reason i'm doing this is because i'm enjoying um, sharing my knowledge thank you